A cholera outbreak in Somalia has resulted in the tragic loss of at least 60 lives over the past three months, highlighting the severity of the situation, according to the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF. In its latest update from Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, the UN agency revealed that there has been a significant surge in cholera cases, with a total of 4,956 new cases reported, resulting in a 1.2% case fatality rate. Disturbingly, 51% of the reported cases, or 2,503 individuals, were female, underscoring the vulnerability of women to cholera infection. Somalia has been grappling with a prolonged cholera outbreak since 2017, with uninterrupted transmission of the disease. However, the current outbreak has seen a notable increase in reported cases compared to previous years. The World Health Organization, WHO, states that the number of cases reported this year is three times higher than the average for the same period in the past three years. UNICEF further revealed that 62% of the reported cases, or 3,054 individuals, were classified as severe, indicating the seriousness of the illness. Additionally, children under the age of 5 accounted for 59% of the cases, with 2,940 children in this age group affected, highlighting the heightened risk faced by young children. Cholera is an acute intestinal infection that spreads through the consumption of contaminated food and water, often contaminated with bacteria from feces. The increased incidence of cholera in Somalia is primarily attributed to the floods caused by El Niño toward the end of 2023, which resulted in the loss of at least 118 lives and displacement of 1.2 million people. The El Nino-induced floods in late 2023 significantly impacted various areas in Somalia, exacerbating the cholera situation across different districts. In 2023 alone, Somalia reported over 18,300 cumulative cases of cholera and 46 deaths, with more than half of the cases affecting children under the age of 5. Efforts to combat the outbreak and mitigate its impact are crucial for the well-being and safety of the Somali population. Immediate interventions are required to improve access to safe water and sanitation facilities, enhance hygiene practices, and provide adequate healthcare services to those affected.